This episode of HD Nation is brought to you by Netflix. Time to get our HD Nation on. We got a question in from Scott who writes, I've built a Windows 7 Media Center server as a central home DVR, and it currently has a dual tuner over-the-air HDTV tuner in it. It serves an Xbox 360 in my room, and I'm planning on adding Seton Echoes to two other rooms once they're released. I'm considering adding cable TV to my media center experience, but I'm not sure which of the top tuners would give me the best performance. I'm looking at the internal Seton InfiniTV 4, the USB InfiniTV 4, or the Silicon Dust Home Run Prime. Do I want a tuner that will easily allow me to add multiple installations of the same tuner in or on the same machine, or would it serve me better to get one of each? I'd like to eventually to be able to record six or more shows simultaneously. Thanks all, Scott in Orangevale, California. I do too. I, I, I'm a fan of cable card tuners, and I gotta say, the products that you mentioned, I, I love them all. I think they're all great. Uh, we're showing off here the red product would be the PCI Express version of Seton's Infinity V4. That's a quad tuning cable card adapter, and I have an M card, a multi stream cable card, inserted into that right now. That one card can, I, I'm not sure how many cable streams you're actually able to support with one card. That, that particular product handles four at once. So that one card, one cable gives me four individual tuners. Cool. The other product is a network-enabled adapter from the good folks at Silicon Dust. That's their HD Home Run Prime. This is a product that also has a cable card slot in the back, and instead of connecting to your computer in a PCI connection, you use that Ethernet slot and connect it to your home network. And then every computer on the home network then can access the three tuners built into that particular product. So. One nice thing, though, about both of these products is that they play nice in Windows uh, Media Center 7. So, And you can mix and match them however you want. Cool. That's really the b best part of it all. Now, with the Infinity V4, you can actually dedicate its four tuners to specific Windows 7 PCs that are connected to the same local network. It's a handy way of ensuring that your main recording PC always has some tuners to work with in a busy household. Now, the Silicon Dust product, the HD Home Run Prime, that network tuning device, all of the network PCs in the household will be able to access its available tuners, available. Uh, now, nowadays, the main drawback of cable card tuners is the lack of access to pay-per-view content. That's really the main downfall to all of it. Cable providers like Comcast and Xfinity, they're offering online streaming of their on-demand content, but pay-per-view is locked to the darn cable box, and I see that not changing anytime soon. I wish they would create a, a, a website for pay-per-view content and stream it to the web, but alas, no. So That's really the one downside. That's probably that's, the that's, only downside you found. And I, that bit me the other day with a, with, a, with a sporting event that was on TV, and there was, no, we, there was no way to do it. You need a cable box for that. Hopefully that changes in the future, but judging the way the uh, pay-per-view industry works, I am not holding my breath on that <laughs> at all. Josh in South Carolina writes in asking, hey, with several brands using Yahoo connected TV widgets, wouldn't it be a fairly simple task to build a calibration widget that would get home users, say, 75% of the way to having a calibrated TV? Hmm, something sim similar to the calibration utility that used to come on Pixar's DVDs? Let's hire a developer and get on this, signed Josh in South Carolina. Josh, I think that's a terrific idea. I say you and I, or, or a group of us, we'll get a Kickstarter started and we'll just get this project done. Do, and do you need a Kickstarter project? Because there's already there's there's good open source ones. There's inexpensive ones you can buy on Blue, right? Do we really need a Kickstarter powered app, funded app? But to have that built into the TV and uh, on a platform that's right. supported across the majority of the TVs out there, I think that'd be an ideal tool. And like I said, there's some other ideas that I have for ways people could tune up their TVs using an app and perhaps their smartphone device. That would be, I think, just great to wrap it all together and make it a useful tool. You can always turn to a, a standalone product for doing tune-ups like a, a Blu-ray disc, like the WoW disc we love so much from Disney. Spears and Munsell. Spears and Munsell is another terrific one. However, uh, I think an app, especially a free app that people just download into a TV and have that ready to go, built in with quality test patterns, which would be relatively easy to do. There's no reason not to jump on this, yeah. is what I'm saying. And I, I, think there's some, I think there's some market there to get it home. You, you aren't allowed to leave if this Kickstarter project is successful. I won't. Good. I'll be here. <laughs> Austin writes in asking, I'm in the market for a TV around 42 to 46 inches with built-in apps like Netflix, Hulu Plus, and Amazon Streaming. I'd like built-in Wi-Fi or at least a way to connect a Wi-Fi dongle for my bedroom. What are some of your recommendations? This TV also needs to be able to hung, be hung on a wall mount. Uh, first of all, Austin, pretty much any 42-inch TV these days, 46-inch TV, you can buy an inexpensive $50 to $100 wall mount and safely hang it on the wall as long as you actually manage to screw properly into the studs, you not can just find the on studs. the drywall. Get a cheap stud finder yeah. that make everything easy. And don't be afraid about wall mounting. It's a, it's a terrific way to get 
get rid of the base stand and mm -hmm. take up less space and in many ways protect the TV by hanging it on a wall and getting it off of a uh, of, of unstable stands to right. just people bumping it or kids touching it. And Nobody's going to sit on your 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 on the table that your television is sitting on and knock it off because they leaned back while they were drunk. True story. Not in my house though. <laughs> and as far as <laughs> Wi-Fi though, I really prefer having a hard wire or or built-in Wi-Fi compared to dealing with any kind of dongle. I found that they're they're half at best. And if you're finding that the Wi-Fi provide isn't providing the speedy connection if you do get this set up, you can always consider something like power line networking. Right. We've shown that before with inexpensive products. And whenever somebody tells me also that their TV that they're looking for, whatever size in particular that they're looking for, mm -hmm. I will immediately suggest that they go up one step larger, always a little bit larger. It, it, Without a doubt, the first complaint I'll always hear when doing a TV install right. is, oh, I should have went with the larger size. <laughs> now, as far as your, your technologies go, plasma TVs tend to be less expensive than LCDs, but they will consume significantly more power compared to an LCD to produce a similarly bright picture. And you have tons of options to show. Actually, I can pull up a page here. And if you're shopping online, there are a ton of options as far as 42 to 46 inch screens in an affordable range. Everything from about, I'd say, $1,000 on down to about the $500 range. Uh, I would really just look for the features that are most important to you. I wouldn't go with anything that's a 720p resolution at this point. For a screen size that big, there's just no reason to go with that. And that you will find more so on plasmas than you would LCDs when you're shopping around for a 42 or, 42 or 46 inch screen size. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Hey, let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. Life's complicated enough without having to run out to the video rental store or vending machine to grab something to watch. Just get Netflix already. You can watch thousands of TV shows and movies stream straight to the comfort of your home. All you need is broadband internet, a web browser, a video game console like the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, or Nintendo Wii, or any Netflix-enabled set-top box or HD TV. With more than 23 million members, Netflix offers everything from classic movies, foreign dramas, action flicks, cartoons, to more recent TV shows and movie releases. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you can instantly watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want, for one low monthly price. Go to netflix.com slash techzilla and sign up. And for our viewers in the UK and Ireland, you can get the same free trial as the US. Just check out netflix.co.uk slash techzilla or netflix.ie slash techzilla. Please be sure to use those URLs so that they know we sent you.